was even when we was walking off, he was filming us. I'm like, Alo, go ahead, go by Alo. Bye, nice to meet you. Yeah, we got some video. The, the uh, Lucky 13 got it. Uh, e with the D, they got the video. Oh. You know, I was dancing on him, but I couldn't dance on him that long because I started smelling some, uh, I was like, oh, mm, no, Alpha, I thought she was, I thought, you know, but anywho, nevertheless, you know, uh, we linked up. I don't know what his motives was, but I want, I met Alvo because I wanted him to know, because I know he had said some stuff previous on live earlier that day. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me go meet up with this boy to see what's, what's he really about. He had a drink in his hand. If he wanted to fight, he could have threw the drink. He could have threw the first punch. I mean, but he was on some groupie shit. Like, he was so excited. He's to not, see not about that life. He's not about that life when it comes to fighting and shit. No. He play like oh. he... I just, mm. I, I tried to have fun with him. You know, I've never met Alvo before in my life. And so I, I tried to, you know, make light of the situation. But I was like, Alvo, chill. Like, you doing way too much. Like, wrong Then he city. probably switch it, switch it around like, oh, you was the problem. Everybody that was on that live knew he did way too much. I was chill. If you look at that video exclusive, I was chill That's what the I'm whole saying. time. So where can I look at the video with? So if you go on uh, I, um, Lucky 13 got it, E with okay. the T got it. If you go on there, I was chill with him. I hugged him. I danced on him. Like, well, it was a real chill vibe. So when we was leaving, I was like, bye, Alvo. I said, Alvo, don't be on no group and stuff. He stood at the end of the street and filmed us walking out. I'm like, Alvo, don't That's be no group. Do. So once we got all the way down the street, he mm -hmm. came like damn near running up. And my nieces, my little god is like, oh, and so she was like, what's up? What are you going to do? You know, and Memphis females, and, and here in Memphis, they'll utterize your ass fast. You know what I mean? We don't fight in Memphis. It's just that we we not on that type of time. Like, if you want the smoke, we're going to give you what you came for. And she went around him and went behind him. And when I seen her reach for her gun, I said, no, no. He ain't on that. I said, Alvo, I'm going to tell you one time to roll on. And he went on, and he, 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 he knew what was coming to him. He went on, went the other way. We went on back toward the car. And then he going to try to say, oh, they was going to the police. Boy, sit down, honey. Sit down. Mm. But anywho, you know, at any rate, Alvo ain't about that life. He, he, he wanted to do some stuff for a live or whatever. But that live shit will get you fucked up. Chasing clout will get you mm -hmm. fucked up and fucked off. Because Miff is not on that type of time. We don't all that fighting and shit. We ain't, we don't. Mm -mm. No, this this ain't that. Like this ain't that at all. For real, we don't got time for that. You know. So, mm. so y'all were downtown. They were playing music and stuff. He was dancing. Well, yeah, they were playing music or whatever. So we, I just kind of because where we parked, it was like at the top of downtown. So I just, we got out, you know, my niece had her beautiful dress on, you know, the shit went to prom or whatever. And uh, I said, well, y'all, let me uh, stop and, you know, meet Alvo. And of course, they didn't know who he was. I was like, he's, a, you know, social media influencer or whatever. And they were like, okay, you know. And so, but I just tried to meet Alvo and, and that was it, you know. But for him to be doing all that extra stuff, like, for what? Like, I, I don't know. You know, if he'd have swung at me, or, or it, it would have been dead. But he wasn't even on there. Like, he was, I don't know what he was on. Mm. Yeah. So, That's I was crazy. looking too cute. Yeah. I had on my long uh, stretch pants, the dressy kind, and I had on my uh, my Mesky Hill boots. I looked at really cute, you know, my choker on. I looked at really they cute. They said Kenny was very respectful. I was. I, I really was. I wasn't even, I don't know what his motives was or what he was on, but I wasn't into none of that. You know what I mean? Because in real life, I'm a humble person. Now, I talk shit on this internet, but in real life, I, I you know, it, all this stuff, you know, that's just some bullshit. You know, so I don't know what he thought this was, but, you know, mm -mm, no. Alvo was really wrong for how he carried out. He really was, because we that wasn't even on that type of liquor. That liquor. Yeah, but if he wanted to do some content with me, he could have just said, Kenny, let's do a skit or something, you know, but 
I don't know, but I will need to take a bath. I do know that damn much that shit. I oh, I had to stop dancing on him. I'm like, oh god. I'm yep. like, Lord. <laughs> yep, Kenny, you was good. Yeah, Lord, I was trying to get some content. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of content he was trying to get, but uh, I'm gonna say, if you show up in my city. You ain't got to ask so bad about Kenny Lee. I'm going to come to where you at. Because the one thing about it, I got Memphis on lock. So, and this was, it was another thing exclusive. What he did not know was JT was actually in the vehicle right there we was in. Right there looking at everything. So, if he would have, if he would have made any kind of little move, our ass would have, oh Lord. But anyway, at any rate, I'm glad it didn't happen because it ain't even worth it. You know, and Alvo does too much. And that just goes to show you how people would do anything for the internet. Anything. I mean, he do, he do anything just to, he do anything to try to go viral. Anything. Exactly. Well, that, he, he would have went viral last night for sure. If he had a dick, but any kind of little move, he'd have definitely went viral for damn show in Memphis, Tennessee. This, this was, this was a place he would have never forgot. If he had a, Thump a finger at me. I promise you, he would have had a real show. And I'm going to tell you something. Alvo don't know. Well, I'm going to leave that alone. They said anyway, JT he got out the car. We seen it on Lucky Page. I don't know because, like I said, I was trying to keep my folks up off of him because I know one of the young ladies that was with us, she had a pistol and she was ready to go ahead on. And I said, no. I said, no. This is. I said, come on, y'all. Let's go. This no Alvo. Alvo don't know. They will shoot your ass so fast in Memphis. Hell yeah. Just blink your and, goddamn and eyes. That, that drunk shit. Mm -hmm. You drunk and you get to start running your mouth. And, and then if you notice, he ended up saying, Kenny going to the police. We was walking back to the car, baby. You ran and got out live. And so he ended his line. They said he running. That motherfucker was running like a sissy. We didn't see that motherfucker start running like a sissy. I said, God damn. What the fuck you running for? Pretty deep before you already know it's coming, girl. I'm just gonna sit back and wait till my time, girl. I'm just so gonna why he my part. Told the child he on live telling people he made the skits and y'all this and he that. Didn't, like what is he, all he that? Make, he didn't make no skits. He came up with ideas, and we came up with ideas. It was team. It was a team effort. He always trying to take credit for something that he didn't do. It always he wanted to be the big person yeah. in something. Boy, you need to sit your ass down, some motherfucker. Where? Cause if you if you were that big and that noticeable, you would be doing a whole lot better than you doing right now. Trying to live like trying to live a life that you can't even fucking live. Mm -hmm. Get your shit together. Get a job. Get your priorities mm -hmm. straight. You ain't got no motherfucking motion or nothing. I done spared him so many goddamn times and shit and try to help him, but I can't keep on doing that. That's crazy. You should have <laughs> cold clocked this motherfucking ass. Yeah, I should have, but you know what? I feel like he was being egged on because we Thank y'all. We Thank were gone, and, 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 um, we were gone, and so Alvo came back up there. We was at, so I don't know <clears throat> if he was a, if, he, if somebody on live may have told him to go back up there with Kenny at or go hit Kenny. Because when he came back up there, he was like, "You want to fight? You said I was disrespect. You want to fight? They said you said you want to fight me. You was on live. I'm like Alvo. I haven't been live at all today. What are you talking about? They said you was on live. Said you want to fight me today. I said Alvo. Then he said, you contacted me, but when he showed the message, do he not know it showed when he asked me where you at? You text me, brother. Like, mm -hmm. like what type of time you really on? You reached out to me. Like, you were on live telling people to tell me that you in Memphis. Like, come on now. So, I I, mm -hmm. I don't know, you know. But he he definitely, Alvo, I'm going to tell you something exclusive. Alvo needs to go somewhere and sit down because... You, on this internet and in real life, it's two different ball games, and you can get hurt on this internet shit. 
Oh yeah, he he really don't like the fact that I uh, associate with Josh, but that ain't gonna stop me from talking to Josh. I mean, I you ain't like I'll... got no beef with Josh. No, you know you ain't got I no beef like with I Josh. Fuck on Josh, I am. You know, ain't nobody. Oh, it is me. what it is. You know, he. I mean, and, and now, I, and I hate to say this, but I see why Josh used to beat his ass because <laughs> he he flipped out to my exclusive. Mm -hmm. He flipped in 3.5 seconds on me and my girls. Literally. I mean, I it's, I was like, damn, are you for real? I'm then, and he lied so much. That man lied so much and tried to switch shit around to make it seem like somebody the bad person, like he ain't done nothing. And that's sad that he be doing this shit. Yeah. So he it can't see We were vibing. I, I it even got like his he lives. He Tommy. Mm -hmm. I even got his lives, and we were. I was on his live talking to the people. Like I, I couldn't under, I can't vibe with that. Like I'm a real in real life. I'm real chill and cool or whatever because I have an image to uphold in this city, you know, or what as a community activist. So I can't get like. You know what I mean? But if you bring it to me, it's going to be understood. That's why I told, I gave him a direct order. And I said it loud enough. I said, Alvo, go head on. Because I had witnesses around me telling him to go head on. So I made that clear. And I gave him a direct order to roll on, Alvo. Go head on because this ain't what you want. But the fact that you came back was the problem. Because see now you coming for shit. Mm -hmm. You coming for this. You coming to a fight. And he talked about how he was by himself. Now, if you by yourself the first time you done told him to leave and he done came back and something happened. Then it would have been on be him. Leaving here in the body bag. Exactly. But he was I'm gonna tell you something. Mm -hmm. JT was in the car, one of the girls came, but he went he not even worth any of that. Because if he was about that life, he would have bust some kind of move through the drinks, uh, push me. Say he, he, I was too bossed up on him. I was too bossed up. I was looking good, smelling good. He, I wasn't even finna even let him give they me upset. He lied on Amaretta. Yeah, they said he lied on Amaretta and shit. He didn't the way he be doing, let me tell the way he something. be in these videos, he be drunk. And people don't be wanting to deal with it. And he think it's cute. That's not cute And, and this is the all. thing. When we went toward the car, he said, they going toward the police. No, baby. We had to go past them to get to my vehicle. When he seen us going to that vehicle, that motherfucker got out there live and ran. I go look at it, y'all. He got out live. And the next time we know, we see that little pink shirt running. So who, who was it? Who, um... Who was he with and how he got there? He wasn't with nobody. He, before he went live, this is what he told me. He said he was he's dating a doctor. And he said that he's down there with a doctor that paid for everything, but he's on his way to, I think he said, Kentucky or something. But then when he got on live, he said, oh, I'm down here with a girl that paid for everything and paid for me to get down here, paid nice. for my plane ticket. This is so he told so many different stories to where I really don't even know what to believe, to be honest. Because he told so many stories. First, he said he was with a doctor. Then they said, no, he in the car with some guys or a guy or what. I, re I just really don't even know. Mm. So, and I'm going to show you because when I was, I was no on telling Instagram. No telling who done met, he done met up with. But see, I was on Instagram live. I mean, not live. I was on Instagram FaceTime with him and he went live. And I'm like, damn, he's so desperate to go live. The thought that he was finna meet up with me, he immediately went live. That's when I said, oh, this some group of shit. Like, why are you going live and That's you finna him. be like, uh, it, it just was, man, it was crazy. It was really 